Can you tell us what you're on the press reports this morning? I don't about talk about it, lads. I never talk about it. Oops. Did you talk to Mr. Hutchins on uh, Friday night? I don't talk about these things, lads, so. Can you say anything about the allegations that Paul Yates has made? I, I just don't talk about it, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, you know. I know you'd like me to, but I never do. How do you feel about what's been said, though? I, mean, it's I just don't talk about it. I'm sorry to say, like, <laughs> you know, um, a parrot or something, but I never have, and I probably never will. Obviously, you are, you are sad, though, about um, the death. Well, I issued a statement on Friday and, uh, you know, I uh, expressed my feelings then and uh, I said I'd nothing further to add, but that was good. Did you get any general quote about um, what memories of Michael or as a musician or anything like that? Well, that's all personal stuff, you know. Uh, all that is music or anything like that. Well, that's still personal and I just don't talk about those things, you know. This is mobile phone. I think everyone in Britain is still stunned by the death of Michael Hutchins. Just can't believe that he would do it. Such an optimistic guy with a zest for life. Why he did it, he could have been depressed. Um, there were there were stories that his career was on on, on the slide and he was taking it very badly. Also, um, a story that. Uh, Paula couldn't bring the children over to Australia to see him. But whether or not he would kill himself over something like that, I find a puzzle. I don't think so.